A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus English, that's so much fun, English education, for you and everyone, so come along. Learn some grammar, hey. learn a phrase, uh -huh. learn something new every day, learn the A plus way. Hi, and welcome back to A Plus English. I'm Kai. I'm Chikling. And today we're finishing up our article about fortune telling, which was uh, seeing the future and arranging the present. So we talked about two different things. Mm -hmm. One from the West, one from the East. The arranging was, what was that one called? From the East. Feng Shui. Ah, uh, yes. There was Feng Shui mm -hmm. talking about how people will organize their house or their city or anything like that mm -hmm. uh, to try to make their present and future what they mm -hmm. want. The other was uh, tarot cards. Oh, Ta Luo Pai. Yeah, and that was talking about uh, how people think about their problems or how people mm -hmm. look for answers to their problems. Mm -hmm. By the using, pictures on the cards. Yeah, yeah, using the pictures and the symbols on the cards. So this leads us kind of nicely into our warm-up question about a different kind of way to look at these things. So we will look at today's warm-up question. What are your star signs and sheng xiao? Do you think they help tell people who you are? Why or why not? Mm, this is a lot of questions. Uh, so I do know my star sign. It's Aquarius, okay. which is the water carrier. Uh -huh. And then my Sheng Xiao is uh, the rabbit. Okay, mm -hmm. the rabbit. Uh, I don't think it's that useful though. Uh, Sheng Xiao, I don't know. But I don't think the star sign is that useful because Why? my sister uh -huh. and my star sign are the same. Oh. But we are 100% opposite wow. of <laughs> each other in so many ways. But what about you? What do you think well, about I'm star an Aries. signs? Aries. Aries, okay. And you know, people think we're like short-tempered. Oh. Yeah, but I don't think I am. Mm. But you know, Sheng Xiao, I think Sheng Xiao, Sheng Xiao is kind of useful to me. Okay. Yeah, I'm a dog. A dog, okay. Yeah, so nice. would you, you're so but sometimes you don't really you can't really divide like all the people in the world into 12 different types, exactly. right? That's really the, the biggest thing about <laughs> these things. They are useful in some ways, but there's just too much difference, mm. too much variation between people. But mm -hmm. anyway, let's get into the article and learn a little more about what we talk about when we say star sign or when we say sheng xiao. Okay. Fortune telling, seeing the future, and arranging the present. Warm-up question. What are your star sign and sheng xiao? Do you think they help tell people who you are? Why or why not? Astrology. People in both the East and West look to the stars to find understanding. In the West, there are 12 star signs, which are related to different groups of stars. Every sign covers part of the year. In the East, there are 12 signs too. 12 animals. Each one covers a whole year. People think these signs influence a person. In both places, People think their signs tell about how they relate to others. All of these methods for understanding the world are interesting. However, they cannot be considered scientific or reliable. It's best to think of them as good food for thought. Word power. Cover. Cover. My dance class covers different styles from around the world. My dance class covers different styles from around the world. Influence. Influence. 
Taylor is popular, so her opinions influence her classmates' thoughts. Taylor is popular, so her opinions influence her classmates' thoughts. Method, method. My friend showed me an interesting method of doing math with your fingers. My friend showed me an interesting method of doing math with your fingers. Consider, consider. Huiting considers Changhua County to be the most beautiful place in Taiwan. Huiting considers Changhua County to be the most beautiful place in Taiwan. 认识智慧 Understanding. Relate to something. Scientific. Reliable. So the article begins by telling us the topic, which is astrology. People in both the east and west look to the stars to find understanding. So here we are with the east and west again. Ah, okay. Yeah. 所以这边出现一个字 understanding， 这边是个名词，是了解、认识。那么 astrology 就是占星术或占星学的意思哦。Ah. 那这边有一个片语是 look to something or someone， 这边是仰仗或者是指望的意思。所以东方呢和西方的人们都会仰望星空来寻求了解。Yeah, and so this word astrology、uh, actually it comes from an old language, which the first part is astro means stars,、oh, okay, and the、yeah. ology part means to study, like biology,、uh-huh. all these kind of psychology,、mm-hmm. these words that you might be familiar with.、Mm-hmm. But anyway, let's talk more about what it is. The article says in the West there are twelve star signs, which are related to different groups of stars. So, which is a really useful word if you want to put two sentences together.、Mm. So the first one would be there are twelve signs. Then the second one is the the signs are related to different groups of stars, which and other words like it, which I think you're about to tell us about,、uh-huh. help connect the two sentences. So you can just say. There are twelve signs which are related to different groups of stars. Oh, so in the West, there are twelve signs which are related to different groups of stars. Oh, so in the West, there are twelve signs which are related to different groups of stars. 呃，这个十二个 star signs 的意思。那么前面有一个逗号，这种用法叫做非限定冠带，那代表它是拿来补充说明的。所以记得，如果出现逗号的时候，这边的 which 跟 who 是不能替代成 that 这个字的。我们看一下一个例句。第一个 ，He has a daughter， 然后逗号 ，Who lives in Japan now？ 代表呢，他只有一个女儿。在，然后这个女儿在日本，就一个。那如果今天没有逗号，我们可以说 He has a daughter who lives in Japan now， 或者是 He has a daughter that lives in Japan now。所以代表呢，他可能 maybe he has two daughters， 可能有更多的女儿，我们不知道。只是他其中一个女儿在日本，所以大家要注意一下。Yeah. So there are twelve of them.、Uh-huh. And each,、uh, the article tells us every sign covers part of the year. In the east, there are twelve signs too, twelve animals. So we'll come back to that in a second. But first, let's talk about cover. It's our first word power word for today, and it's spelled C O V E R. Cover. It's a verb. Cover tells you something is related to something else, or else that it has an effect on that thing. So, for example, we have a sentence which says. My dance class covers different styles from around the world. Again, my dance class covers different styles from around the world. This means that I'm going to learn about many different kinds of dance in this class. It covers a lot of topics. 所以 cover 在这边是动词，是包括或涉及的意思。那么 cover 的意思非常的多，它可以当动词，覆、oh, yeah. 当动词还有什么覆盖啊、覆得起或者去掩饰都可以。那我们造一个例句 ：Her husband's monthly salary doesn't cover their expenses， 代表她老公一个月的薪水不足以去负担他们的花费。那么 cover 这个字呢，当名词呢，就是有封面或遮蔽处的意思。譬如说 ，Don't judge a book by its cover. 
不要以貌取人哦。嗯、那么课文励志老师刚刚提到，我的舞蹈课程涵盖了来自世界各地不同的舞风。而且我们再回到课文中，我们就知道说，每个星座都覆盖了一整年的某一个部分。那在东方呢，也有十二个星座，那我们叫做生肖。Yeah, and so for the Western system, each sign covers a part of the year. But the article tells us for、um, for the Eastern system,、mm -hmm. each one covers a whole year. People think these signs influence a person. So influence is our next word power word, and it's a verb. It's spelled I N F L U E N C E. Influence. Influence is the verb for when you have influence, the noun, and you use this quiet power to change things or people. It's not the same as saying you do this thing. It's suggesting or showing your action and letting other people. Do the same thing as you. So, for example, Taylor is popular, so her opinions influence her classmates' thoughts. Taylor is popular, so her opinions influence her classmates' thoughts. 所以生肖呢有十二种动物，那么一种动物会覆盖一整年，所以人们都会觉得我们生肖会去影响一个人哦。那么 influence 是动词，是影响的意思，在这边是动词啊。呃，那呃，在这边是名词。呃，这是不是动词 ？Sorry， 哈哈。但是呢，它也可以当名词哦，所以它其实英文很好玩，有时候可以当动词、名词很多。我们先用一下名词造个句子吧。She was arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol. Oh no！ 就代表她因为酒驾被捕。那么当然也有形容词了，我们把那个 C 记得变成 T， 变成 influential， 就是具有影响力的。所以我们造一个句子呗。Peter is the most influential figure around this area. 代表 Peter 呢是这个这个领域呢最具影响力的人物。那么课文例句说了 ，Taylor 很受欢迎，所以他的意见呢会影响到他同学的看法或想法。嗯、mm, ，Okay.、Mm. So the article continues by telling us in both places people think their signs tell about how they relate to others.、Oh. Yeah. So both places that's relating back to East、uh -huh. and West that we saw、yeah. a few lines before, but Yeah, 对，所以我们知道说，在东西方，人们都认为自己的星座生肖表明着他们与他人的关系。嗯、mm、哼 -hmm. ，and related to that point, people often think their signs explain or influence how they relate to the world too, not not just other people. Yeah,、mm -hmm. so it might be to their job or to news events or something like that. I、right. think you mentioned. Uh, you're an Aries,、yeah. so the like people say that you will have a short temper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or、and、sometimes、so、this week you're gonna lose some money, and you're gonna、right. be like, "Oh, I'm gonna be more careful with my money this week." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can often see these in in a newspaper, or now that it's you know 2020,、uh -huh. people will look online, but they'll read these.、Uh, they're called horoscopes. It'll yeah, tell yeah. you what. Is going to happen for you because of your star sign、mm -hmm. this week or, or this like month or something. 上半年运势，下半年运势 ，anything like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the next,、uh, the next line in the article says, all of these methods for understanding the world are interesting, and we've got another word power word here, which is method, M E T H O D, method. So method is the way you do something.、Uh, you might talk about the method for studying English. Some people like to learn music and learn English words that way. Some people like to read or talk. These are different methods for studying.、Um, the example sentence says, "My friend showed me an interesting method of doing math with your fingers." Again, "My friend showed me an interesting method of doing math with your fingers." 所以 method 就是方法或者是办法。那我们看一下这个片语 ，there is a method to one's madness。这个这个句子应该很好理解嘛，就是 madness 就是一个疯狂。所以哎，你的疯狂里面是有方法的，代表虽然如果你的行为不可理喻，不过其实是有原因、有道理的。那我们造一个句子吧。No one seems to understand why I made the decision. 
But eventually, they'll see that there is a method to my madness.、Mm. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, so 好像没人知道呢，为什么我要做这个决定。不过，终究他们会明白这是有个原因的。<laughs> 所以，课文例句说了，我朋友教了我一个用手指算数学的有趣方式。那回到课文就说，这些了解世界的方式都非常的有趣，也出现了我们第一天探讨的 confusing, confused, bored and boring. 所以 interesting, 令人感到有趣的 or interested,、mm-hmm. 感到有趣的 like I am interested in something. 那么或者是名词或动词 interest. Yeah, definitely. I hear、uh, even my friends who speak really good English will often say, "I'm interesting in that." It's like, oh. You have forgotten the rule. Oh yeah, it's yeah, really, yeah. It's really, it's、um, really, it's so confusing. It's weird to because if you're say I'm, I am interested. It's just like, well, people are interested in you. Or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, very interesting. Yeah, okay. He is an interesting person. You can、yeah. say that, yeah. And you can say I'm an interesting person too. Yeah, true. But you wouldn't say I'm interesting in, in math studying or yeah, like yeah. you say say with an ed. Yeah, yeah. So that's a really.、Uh, Really common and pretty easy to fix problem.、Yeah. I I think.、Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, uh, the article continues by talking about.、Um, we had just said how these are interesting methods, but the article says, however, they cannot be considered scientific or reliable. So this is our last word power word. Consider, and consider is spelled C O N S I D. E R consider. So consider is a really useful verb.、Uh, if you want to sound a little more fancy, consider is just another way to talk about thinking. In this example sentence and in the article, it's you can just change it for thinking.、Uh, there are different meanings of consider, but we'll talk about them a little more when we have Chikli and back. So for the example sentence. Uh, Hui Ting considers Changhua County to be the most beautiful place in Taiwan. Again, Hui Ting considers Changhua County to be the most beautiful place in Taiwan. And like I said, you can just change it. She thinks that Changhua County is the most beautiful place in Taiwan. So consider, this is a noun. That is, you think that you are the best friend. So, for example, I've always considered you my best friend. That means I've always considered you my best friend. That means I've always considered you my best friend. That means I've always considered you my best friend. That means I've always considered you my best friend. That means I've always considered you my best friend. That means I've always considered you my best friend. That means I've always considered you my best friend. That means I've always considered you my best friend. That means I've always considered you my best friend. That means I've always considered you my best friend. That means I've always considered you my best friend. That means I've 那我们额外看到两个很好玩的单词 ，scientific 就是科学的，跟科学方法很好记，因为 science 这个字吧，这个字来的。Mm-hmm. 那么 reliable 就是有消息很可靠的。那然而这些算命方式呢，无无法呢被科学认定，也不一定是可靠的。Yeah, and so then the article ends by telling us it's best to think of them as good food for thought. So food for thought just means. Something to think about. Yeah, food. Well, is like your some form of nutrition. Yeah, yeah, something for your brain to just consider, digest, chew on. Yeah, <laughs> digest. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Uh huh. So food for thought 就是令人深思的事物。所以最好的方式呢，还是把它们当成可以深思的事物即可，不用太认真。So right now, let's go into our magic box, and then we will be back for our review time. Perfect. <laughs> Hello， 大家好，我是 Kathy。今天呢，我们来认识一下 thought t h o u g h t 这个字哦。要注意呢，它的发音哦 ，thought 里面的 g h 两个字母它是不发音的。那大家认识它，可能是因为我们很常用的 think 思考啊、想这个字，它的过去式还有过去分词就是 thought 这个字，对吧？像是呢 ，I thought I got good grades on the exam， but it turned out I failed it。我以为我考试考得很好，但结果竟然不及格哎！这个 thought 呢，作为过去式的动词，常常就会被解释成以为怎么样怎么样，之前认为嘛。那今天呢，我们就来学学它的名词的用法哦。那 thought 当做名词呢，它就有想法、啊、还有主义这样的意思，其实就跟 idea 这个字是差不多的意义。像是 a thought came to me about my science project。关于科学报告，我有一个新的想法闪过
。那还有呢，像是别人如果说中我心里想的事情的时候，我就可以说 How can you read my thoughts？ 就等于 How do you know what I am thinking about？ 它们的意义是一样的、哦。那其中的 read somebody's thoughts 这个片语呢，就有看出别人的心思啊这样的意思。或者呢 ，thought 这个字其实还可以作为不可数名词来表示思考啊，或者是考虑这样的意思。像是如果我提了一个意见，要你好好的思考一下，那我就可以说 ，I hope you'll give it some thought。这边的 thought 是不可以加 s 的哦。To give something some thought， 这边的意思呢，就是认真的考虑某一件事情。那 thought 既然也有思考的意义，那以下这个很可爱的片语可以让大家来猜一下意思。先看一个例句 ：Your suggestions gave me a lot of food for thought。你的建议给了我很多 food for thought， 思考的粮食吗？其实这个片语呢 ，food for thought 有让人深深深省啊，或者是深思，或者是思考的事物这样的意思哦，有一点类似精神粮食这样的意义。OK， 那最后呢，我们就来用这个片语来造个句子，结束这一回合吧。该怎么说这本书很有趣，令我值得深思呢？大家马上揭晓，拜拜。The answer is this book was interesting and gave me lots of food for thought。你答对了吗？ Wait for it! It's review time. 复习时间到喽 All right, we're back for review time.、Mm -hmm. We've got our four word power words, and we're going to play taboo. Yay! Yeah. So I want to make you say the word without actually saying the word. So、okay. like yesterday, we had symbol, and if I say, okay, it's something. That it's like a word, but it's not a word. And you'll say, "What?" <laughs> exactly. So I have to give you more and more and more till finally、okay. I make you say symbol. Okay. Okay. So let's do it with some of our word power words today.、Mm. Should we go over them first or go straight in? Go straight in. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, hmm. Uh, popular people have a lot of or are really able to do this thing. Uh, or Movie stars are able to do this for style. Like you see what they do and you want to do it. You、uh, want to follow them. Yeah, you want to follow them because they have a lot of something. They affect you. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. Your action.、Uh, But that's not one of our wait, word power、uh, words. No. Maybe we should have gone over that. Oh,、then. influence! Influence! It is. Right. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and this is the one, or this is one of them that's a noun and a verb.、Oh, yeah.、Nice. So. If、oh, and the adjective form we talked about, influential, right? Influential, that's、uh -huh. true. But that one has a different spelling, so I didn't want to try to make you say、oh, that. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're so nice. Do you want to try? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna try one, one too. Okay.、Uh, so when you <laughs> when you do this, <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, when you <laughs> spread something over something, or when you put、oh. something. This、oh. is a different meaning of this word, yeah, I think. The one, the meaning that we talked about today is like to include something. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Hmm. I think we're being very confusing right now. Right. But that's okay because this word, like you said, has a lot of meanings. Yeah. It's cover, right? Yeah, it is.、Okay. <laughs> so cover can also mean to, you know, yeah, just to hide something. But it's also when I cover my eyes, my, like. My、your hand, hand is, is the cover too, including it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got cover that we covered. We've got influence that we covered, and our last two method and consider will leave to you to play with for if you want to do taboo or a different game、um, or just practice them in however whichever method you would like.、Mm -hmm. So、uh, that's probably it for today, right? Yeah. All right. So for A plus English, I'm Kai. I'm Shikling. And we'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Fortune telling, seeing the future and arranging the present. Warm-up question: What are your star sign and sheng shao? Do you think they help tell people who you are? Why or why not? Astrology. People in both the east and west. 
look to the stars to find understanding. In the West, there are twelve star signs, which are related to different groups of stars. Every sign covers part of the year. In the East, there are twelve signs too. Twelve animals. Each one covers a whole year. People think these signs influence a person. In both places, people think their signs tell about how they relate to others. All of these methods for understanding the world are interesting. However, they cannot be considered scientific or reliable. It's best to think of them as good food for thought. Cover, cover. My dance class covers different styles from around the world. My dance class covers different styles from around the world. Influence, influence. Taylor is popular. So her opinions influence her classmates' thoughts. Taylor is popular, so her opinions influence her classmates' thoughts. Method, method. My friend showed me an interesting method of doing math with your fingers. My friend showed me an interesting method of doing math with your fingers. Consider, consider. Huiting considers Changhua County to be the most beautiful place in Taiwan. Huiting considers Changhua County to be the most beautiful place in Taiwan. 智慧. Understanding. Relate to something. Scientific. Reliable.